I want to give him every chance I can to see me. Well, good morning, everybody out there in the YouTube universe. This is a wet cruise man coming to you from Einstein's. You might notice that the uh, roads and the parking lot are just a little bit wet. It is 7.32 in the morning and before I left the house this morning I checked the weather app on my iPhone and the weather radar both of which said we were supposed to expect rain at 10.30 this morning. As you can see, it's 7.30 in the morning, and we have rain. So imagine my, or try to understand my skepticism when these scientists say they've been able to determine that the Earth's temperature is going to rise by one degree over the next 110 years and they can't accurately predict when it's going to rain. Anyway, another topic for another day. I want to welcome you to my motor vlog. If you've never been here before, we uh, pretty much talk about motorcycle stuff, but sometimes I get off track. I don't usually ride in the rain, but uh, this morning doesn't look like I have a choice. So anyway, if you like uh, if you're passionate about motorcycles, please click that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click that little bell icon because that way YouTube will let you know when we come out with some new videos. So my last video, and the last couple of videos really, I spent talking about this, uh, I'm going to call it the Cena Spider ST1, but it was brought to my attention by one of my viewers that I've been mispronouncing the brand and he actually sent me a link to a video where they describe how to pronounce the name of the company and I have been mispronouncing it for years I've been calling it Cena, and apparently the real name of the company is Senna like S-I-N-N-A. So, if I have offended anybody at Senna, I apologize. So, it is the Senna Spider ST1 that I have on my helmet right now, and that I've been using for the last couple of weeks to test out. Um, and just as a quick update, because I have other things I want to talk about, but I've tried, just for those of you that have been sending me comments, I have tried both ways. I have tried turning on the Spider ST1 before I start the bike. I've tried it after I start the bike. And <clears throat> I've had inconsistencies uh, with the connection of the Bluetooth with the Goldwing both ways. So I haven't found a way that really matters yet. One thing about the Spider ST1, is that every now and then I will get a message when I start up the headset it just goes into pairing mode and uh, that's something I never had with the other Senna models I'm trying to get used to saying Senna but we'll talk about that later we'll go into that more in a future video after I've done some more testing Today I want to talk about a subject regarding riding safety. I had something happen to me yesterday that really brought this home. I was coming out of my neighborhood, it was about 4.45, well, no, about 5.45 in the morning. It was early, 5.30, 5.45, something like that. And I was at a stoplight that comes out of my neighborhood to this street right here, actually. I was getting ready to turn onto this uh, boulevard. 
and the light turned green and I was going to make a left turn. I was going to come out of my neighborhood and make a left turn to go to Einstein's. And before I left, the, the, the light turned green, but before I left the intersection, I looked to my left and a pickup truck going at least, I'd say at least 50 miles an hour didn't even slow down. He just went right through the intersection, basically ran the red light. Had I not looked, and if I had just seen that green light and gone, he would have T-boned me and it would have been over. Wouldn't have mattered if you're in a car or a motorcycle. You're dead, pretty much, either way. He was going that fast, plus it's a big pickup truck. And it just uh, brought home the uh, kind of the need to talk about safety and a subject that I've touched on before in some other videos and that is having a healthy level of I don't want to call it fear when you get on a motorcycle but I think you have to have a sense of danger and there's difference between fear and a sense of danger I think if you're afraid and you're fearful of riding a motorcycle, it takes away the enjoyment. And you probably wouldn't even do it. But it's very important to have a healthy dose of respect and a real sense of what dangers there are when riding a motorcycle. I take this approach. I assume all of these cars on the road with me. I don't just assume that they're that they don't see me or that they're indifferent towards me. I take the attitude that they're actually intentionally out to do me harm. That if they had their way, they would run me off the road. And I'm going to do whatever I can do to defensively prevent that from happening. Now, I know that's not the case. I know that most of these people could care less about me one way or the other. But I look at this almost like a video game. And their job is to kill me. And my job is to survive. And... Some people might think that's an unhealthy way of looking at riding a motorcycle. But it's just the way I've looked at it. I do not ever feel safe when I get on a motorcycle. Now, when I drive in a car, I do get a false sense of safety and security because you're surrounded by a box. You have airbags and seat belts. But trust me when I tell you that if I had been in a 2007 Grand Marquis Mercury yesterday and pulled away from that stop or from that green light, actually, cruise man would not be here talking to you today. It wouldn't matter what you're driving. So I want all of you, the next time you throw your leg over a motorcycle, to at least have a healthy respect for the dangers that exist out there. Because as anybody that's ever been in a motorcycle accident or any accident will tell you, this happens fast. It happens so fast that you, you just can't believe it. Those of you that have been in motorcycle mishaps, put it in the comments down below. Tell me what happened and tell me if there's anything you could have done, maybe, to prevent that accident. Now, if you're at a stoplight and somebody comes up behind you and rear ends you, I don't know that there's a whole lot you can do other than keep a continual watch on your rear view mirror. But if you're first in line at an intersection, and your option is to take an impact at the rear or jump the light and go through a red light and take the chance of getting T-boned, 
I, you know, it, that's just a bad situation. That's why I like having the tail blazer, tail light modulators. If I, when I'm at a stoplight, I'm always looking behind me. And if I see a car coming up behind me, I will hit the brakes again so it modulates that brake light. I want them to make, I want to give them every chance I can to see me before they come up behind me. Now, if somebody's on a cell phone, like I suspect the guy in the pickup was yesterday, my guess is he's talking on a cell phone. It's the most dangerous thing people can do when they drive. And if you're on a motorcycle, you look in people's cars when they drive by, you see it all the time. You see people sitting there talking on their cell phone or texting. It's the most deadly thing that drivers do now is text and drive more so than alcohol <clears throat> because generally alcohol is consumed in the evenings I can avoid riding my motorcycle at 1 in the morning or midnight so I can avoid most of the drunks not all of them but most of them but texting happens 24 hours a day so in my opinion texting and driving is just as dangerous if not more dangerous than drinking and driving I don't know look I look forward to your comments let me know in the comments down below hey I appreciate you watching these videos thanks for taking the time out of your day if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to talking to you I'm probably out of the country right now on a cruise ship in Bermuda I'll give you a couple of shout outs while I'm out there and I'll see you as soon as I get back I've got so many videos stacked up that I'm trying to get done for uh, cruise man's garage but anyway thanks for joining me today and I will see you on the next cruise man's motor vlogs you guys ride safe out there